Hey y'all, it is March the 15th, 2018, and y'all, this morning I want to share with you something, something that you could easily go find um, over in the feeds of my YouTube channel, especially a particular video, and I'll leave you a link below and you can go see it for yourself if you don't believe that it's happening, all right? But it's very important that I share this with you. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is reenact exactly what's taking place in my feeds, just as a warning, I guess, to the younger folks out there who may not realize that they're being indoctrinated into retardation. All right. So that being said, without further ado, this is exactly what's taking place in the feeds of videos that I've made recently pertaining to South Africa and genocide. All right. It starts off like this. This is me. I'm over here. I'm saying, hey, you know, uh, it seems like there's a seems like there's a genocide about to take place on folks with light skin over in South Africa. And the reason for it is because they have light skin. There's no other reason except that they have light skin, right? And maybe they're successful over in South Africa. They're being murdered. They're being raped. They're being tortured. They're being obviously terrorized, these people. And, uh, you know... Most of them at this point desperately want to leave. They want to flee out of South Africa because they realize it's unsafe for not only them and their children, but for most people, no, no matter what, it's actually a very dangerous place. These people want to leave, but they can't leave. Uh, they Financially, they're not able to leave, and they desperately want to leave. They're begging people to help them get out of there because it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. All right. And then these people, there's people who come over to my channel over here. And many of them have dark skin, but actually some of them don't. They'll come over to my channel and they're over here like, oh, but they deserve it. They deserve to be genocided and raped and tortured and murdered and killed. They deserve it. Why don't they just leave Africa alone. Why don't they leave Africa alone for the black people? And I'm over here like, they do, they want to desperately leave. They, they can't afford to be there anymore. Uh, they don't have the, the money or the resources to leave. They're, they're begging people to help them. And if any way, if they could get out, they would get out. They would get out immediately. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous over there. And they're over here like, well, that's what they deserve. Oh, they deserve it. Don't they know? Don't they know that their ancestors, their ancestors did this to the black people in Africa and they've been terrorizing the Africans forever now. And so that's what they deserve. Don't they know that they deserve it? Well, no, actually, um, you know, uh, th that really doesn't apply. First of all, you don't have to answer for what your ancestors did that doesn't that doesn't make any sense but also you know a lot of the light-skinned people in south africa they weren't they don't have ancestry in south africa or i mean it's very recent like a lot of them moved actually moved there since 1994 and after that Right, they they moved there because to to build up the nation of South Africa for everybody, for everybody of every color. They just went there to go nation build and try and build an infrastructure and and help them out. The some most of those people, they don't they don't be, they don't believe in all this r racial hatred, and they just wanted to build a nation. Oh, but their ancestors, their ancestors came and they did all sort of brutal things to the African people and they took them over and oh why won't they just leave the Africans alone the black Africans why don't they leave them alone yeah well they do they do want to leave them alone actually they were just trying to help but now that they realize that their help 
that nobody cares, they're trying to desperately leave. And that's what actually what I'm talking about. Them wanting to desperately leave, and they realize that there's all sort of savage barbarians over there that are trying to rape and kill them and torture them and murder them. And in fact, you know, the government, the government is basically sanctioning it by hating on people because of their their skin tone. And, and it's really, really bad. It's putting them in poverty. It's putting them in all sort of desperate situations, and they really do want to leave. Um, and that's that's what I'm talking about. Oh, those stupid white devil crackers. Oh, what do they want? Money? They want money for their land. Forget that. They don't need no money. They need to leave Africa and leave them alone and get on boats and leave. Yeah, they want to leave. They really want to leave. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, because they, they feel like they're um, in desperate, deadly danger. They don't they, they really want to go. They're looking for all, all sort of them have already left. They didn't want to be there. Um, a lot of them got there after 1994 in order to nation build. Oh, don't you talk to me about nation building. See, nation building, that would happen if there was black unity. But see, the black unity can't happen. The black unity is being stifled uh, because of the white supremacy. And this white supremacy, colonialist, European, uh, white devils, they're, they're stifling it. Oh, they're stifling it? Dang, black, the black unity, huh? Uh, that's all it takes? I mean, how come there's never been black, black unity before? How come that's never happened? Oh, because they weren't given a chance. If they were just given a chance, ooh, they would have a utopia. Ooh, I mean, why won't, why won't the white devils just leave them alone? I don't know. I've never heard of this black unity. I've never heard of white unity. I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. All right? There's never, ever been any, anything like this in history. Nobody's ever had black unity or white unity or brown unity. None of that even exists. None, none of that's ever happened. It's never even come close to happening. The only people who have ever had unity ever uh, in history have either been, I don't know, nation states or uh, perhaps tribes. There was a lot of tribal warfare going on in Africa. Why do you think it was so easy to take over Africa? It's because they were, they were all fighting each other for since the beginning of time. Oh, those white supremacists. They're to blame for everything. They, they made all this happen. They made all the dark-skinned people of Africa oppressed all over the place. Well, then what's been happening since 1994 over there in South Africa? How come How come most of the rapes happened to dark-skinned people by black-skinned people? How come? I mean, you know, the thing is, if white supremacy was holding them down, you figure they would stop raping themselves uh, in order to kind of get together on things and you know, uh, look for solutions. Oh, those white, those white devils have such influence. They're cave beasts and they're inferior. But they came and they took over everything. <laughs> they took it over, and they're making dark-skinned people rape all the other dark-skinned people and torture them. It was just because of white supremacy and their white influence. And dang it, if they would just leave. I've been saying they're trying to leave. Like, how, how, how hard do I gotta say? How many times do I gotta say that they're trying to leave? They don't, ha they don't have supremacy over there. <laughs> In fact, supremacy don't exist. In fact, racism don't exist. Uh, hatred exists. Extreme hatred and savage barbarianism exists. Ignorance exists and stuff. Actually, I have a playlist on my, my own personal channel proving to you that racism does not exist. Hatred does. Ignorance. Um, savage barbarianism. That does exist. Oh, you would say that. You would say that because of your ancestors. Guess what? This is karma. This is karma for your ancestors. Uh, your ancestors, they uh, they brought this about on the people who live there now. Your ancestors. Uh, 
Your ancestors. My ancestors? What do I got to do? I don't even live in South Africa. I don't... What do you mean, my ancestors? You heard what I said. Your ancestors. They did this, and now your people are under attack because of what your ancestors did. I don't even have relatives in South Africa. What do you mean? We don't have the same ancestors. What are you talking about? Do you know what country that my ancestors come from? Uh, they come from Europe. You have European ancestors. No, I'm saying what country did they come from? What country did... I mean, if you knew my last name, you'd know instantaneously what country that my, my ancestors came from. They came from Europe. You got European ancestors and your very same ancestors. Well, they're, they have... You have relatives in South Africa. And they deserve every bit of rape and torture that they have coming because you have the very same ancestors from Europe. Yeah, but what, but what country? Like, who are my ancestors? Do you know them? Do you know their names? Which one of them? Which one of them's raped people? Which one of them took over the? Uh, took over Africa. Like, what are their names? Do they rape people? Do they take it over? Did they ever have slaves? My ancestors? Of course they did. They're from Europe. Everyone from Europe has had slaves. Don't you know? Everybody from Europe has raped everybody else, especially the black people. Uh, you just won't listen because you're ignorant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but because I'm not even related to hardly any of these people in South Africa, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about white supremacy. I'm talking about they all deserve to get raped and murdered, even the children. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, they all get raped. All right, but that's, that doesn't even matter. Uh, but what about the fact is that if you personally and you have dark skin. If you went over to South Africa, you would probably, more than likely, you would get raped. <laughs> Maybe murdered. It's definitely robbed. You understand? All you know how to do is speak English. <laughs> you don't even speak no sort of African language. I mean, you can learn. Nobody's stopping you from learning African languages, but you don't know. You still don't know. And you know you go over there and need a, you get raped and robbed and, and murdered, probably. I mean, it would happen. They don't like, they don't like you over there. <laughs> Most Africans do not like, uh, f for example, other Africans. But most Africans don't like, especially American people with dark skin. You know that, right? Oh, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for our time to finally... Over thousands and thousands and thousands of years of waiting, we're finally going to get black unity just as soon as white people step off of that continent. We're going to have so much black unity. But that's never happened. That's never even close to happen. Uh, y'all can barely, y'all can barely make uh, countries. If I'm to say y'all, and, and technically it's not y'all because you don't have relatives from there. You don't have no history. You don't know what. You don't even simply know what country that that your ancestors even came from. You don't even know, because you haven't you haven't even bothered to figure it out. Black unity is gonna is gonna make everything right. I seen it in a cartoon movie called The Black Panther. All right, you understand? If we kill and we rape everybody out there, and we throw them in the ocean or do something, get rid of them, we're gonna have all sort of peace. We're going to have all sort of success now. Are you a savage? <laughs> Are you a savage barbarian? No, you don't know what, you don't know anything. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you would easily get raped and murdered and robbed and robbed and raped and murdered all over. If you went to Africa, don't do it. If you go to Africa, please stay in, in a safe zone because there's many zones that are not safe for you, all right? Don't you worry about it. We're going to come together. We're going to unify as one big uh, unified fist in the face of of Europeans, I saw it on a cartoon movie.
Okay. Uh, I don't know what else to say to y'all. Don't worry, you don't, you don't have to say nothing. You white devil, nothing you'll ever do will ever. I don't care if you don't rape anybody or murder nobody. I don't care if you, I, I just don't care. You're a white devil. Okay, I'm... Half of my ancestry is from Mexico. That doesn't matter. Ooh, you make me so angry. Mm, I want black unity, and I want it now. <coughs> I hope that you get it. I don't... I wish I could help you, but I don't know how. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I just want all the people up in that country who are being terrorized to be able to leave cause, because they live in fear and stuff and the government's kind of hating on them. Government should hate on them. They don't need to pay them no sort of money for the land that they bought with their own money. They don't need to be compensated. They don't need to be compensated. They need to leave. But what if they can't leave because they don't have enough money because the government won't compensate them for the land that they bought? Fair and square. Don't you come at me with facts. Don't you come at me with history. I'll tell you what's history. Public school told me it was history. They're not lying to me. Okay. Anyways, that was basically a, a reenactment of what's taking place over there on my channel. Uh, it's, it's pretty disgusting. <laughs> like I said, you know, uh, racism really doesn't exist. Hatred exists. Uh, unbelievable ignorance exists. I have a whole playlist that's dedicated to it. Uh, never have I ever looked at someone for their skin tone. Me being a mixed up, uh, whatever you want to call me, a, a mulatto. I don't care what I don't care what you call me. In South Africa, they would call me a colored person. They would literally call me a colored person because I'm mixed. Um, I don't care. I don't care what they do. Uh, all I'm saying is I don't like when people, to include children and stuff like that, are put in harm's way. Um, it's very, it's extremely barbaric and disgusting. I believe in free speech, and of course they don't have that over in South Africa. <laughs> of course they don't have that, but, you know, I always just wish that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your skin tone is, and it never did matter. Uh, all of this is an illusion. Racism is an illusion on you. What it does is it, it empowers you to have hatred for people and to have fear in your heart for other people. And certain governments take advantage of that. They get you all riled up. They teach you in your public schools to have hatred for people because of their skin tone. And then they say, oh, well, you know, you, 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 you have the right to have hatred for people because of your skin tone. You have the correct skin tone. And so, therefore, you're right to have hatred for everybody else. And also, you don't need to know history. That's what the public school tells you. They say, well, we're going to make up history. We're going to just give you one. And we're only going to talk about certain points in time. We're, we're only going to talk about several hundred years ago. But we're not going to talk about thousands of years ago. And we're definitely not going to talk about current day situations in which um, Africans are literally being enslaved by other Africans right now today it's 2018 it's really happening right now men women and children over there in Africa parts of the Middle East it's actually happening right now but you don't want to talk about that you don't want to talk about uh, the fact is that every last people with every last skin tone have definitely been enslaved all throughout history. Everybody's ancestors, for the most part, probably been slaves at one point or another. And what's interesting to note is that <clears throat> most people's ancestors on Earth have never, ever owned slaves. The reason is because they've been too poor to own slaves. All right? That's just what it is. And in fact... In America, you know, less than 5%, probably around 3% of people ever, ever did have the affluence to even own slaves, right? It's not that, you know, uh, white people invented it because white people don't even exist, all right? There's many different people of many different shades. 
white people never really existed. It's just something that's been made up. And and if white people did exist, who knows who invented slavery? I don't know. I mean, it just seems like something that's happened since the beginning of time. Now, like I said, very few uh, people of American ancestry ever even owned slaves. We're talking about 3 to 5% ever did even own slaves because they never had enough money to do it. Right? <clears throat> What's ironic and funny is that places like America um, and places in Europe were the first people to actually abolish slavery in the world. Case in point, uh, slavery still exists in different parts of Africa and the Middle East currently right now all right um i made this whole video i guess i mean most people understand what i'm saying at this point because they've been forced to see savage barbarians for their ways and things of this nature they've been forced to see that america actually did abolish slavery and of course slavery goes on behind the scenes and that's terrible especially child sex trafficking that's actually the big problem that's what people really need to be focused on right now is child sex slavery but that actually does happen behind the scenes in america and it doesn't matter what's your skin tone at all it never did you're a little child and so they'll kidnap you and stuff like this all right. uh, meanwhile, I do have to point out that most of the people uh, who come to my channel and they'll come to the feed, they'll they'll um, they'll complain about history and stuff. They don't know anything about history, but um, <clears throat> they'll, they'll claim that they do. They don't know who their ancestors are or what country they're from, uh, but they'll claim that they do. All right, and then I'll ask them, well, you know, uh, how, how did your ancestors become slaves? And they'll say either they don't know, or they'll say, well, they were kidnapped. Or they'll say both. All right. Meanwhile, I promise you they don't know. They have absolutely no idea. The way that you can prove this is they don't know the names of their ancestors. How in the world could you even know whether or not they were kidnapped or not? See, lots of times what happened is parents in Africa, and this is widely known, sold their children into slavery. They willingly sold them into slavery to different various leaders and tri of tribes and kings or whatever you want to call them. Sold their children willfully into slavery. And that's how, that's how it started. That's how your ancestors became slaves, because of their parents. All right? A lot of them were, perhaps a lot of them were kidnapped. All right? Perhaps a lot of them were kidnapped by, by other Africans. Perhaps a lot of them were kidnapped by Middle Eastern folks. Perhaps, yeah. But, but a lot of them were actually sold willfully into slavery. But you don't know that. You don't know the, your ancestors and things of this nature. It's a terrible travesty. Um, but, of course, at that point, I'm speaking to savage barbarians, and they're, they're never going to figure it out. They don't, they don't have any history. Uh, they don't have any need for history. They don't want to read books. The only books that they want to read are books in which everybody's worshiping skin tone, and that's the only thing that they think about ever, ever, ever. All right? And so, uh, for final thoughts on this video, I want to reach out especially to the young children out there who have dark skin all right and i want to point out to your attention that there's many people <clears throat> there's many many people who are currently separating themselves from other dark skinned people because that they are savage barbarians because they're <clears throat> criminally ignorant because they, they don't care about anyone but themselves, and yet and still they'll still cry out, black unity, black unity, black unity. Black unity's never existed. White unity's never existed. Nation states have existed. Tribes have existed. Warfare, for sure, that's existed. Those other things have never existed. All right. This is why currently there's a lot of dark-skinned people who are absolutely refuting all the other dark-skinned people who hate America. All right, and they don't even know why they hate America, but they do. Uh, they're they're separating themselves, and you can see that in all sort of aspects of our culture to include rap music. There's many a uh, many of my favorite rappers out there who do have dark skin have explicitly said they want to separate themselves from all the savage barbarians. They'll say it a lot. 
because um, the savage barbarians who also have dark skin are actually holding them down and keeping them down. It's a term called crabs in a bucket. That's absolutely the case, and it uh, will always be the case until the civilized, dark-skinned people manage to separate themselves completely. And I don't want to leave myself out of this. There's savage barbarians with my exact skin tone, all right, and they might look just like me. I refute the crap out of them. I don't want to. I don't want to know those people. They're so stupid and ignorant. They're retarded. Just because you have my skin tone doesn't make you not retarded. You can be very retarded. Case in point, you know, the KKK is still something that's brought up in America. Meanwhile, the KKK is laughable. Nobody cares about it. Little children laugh about it. They don't have... Nobody's afraid of the KKK. It's a miserable joke. Nobody cares. <laughs> because it won't benefit you to think about skin tone all day. It'll never get you anywhere. I mean, that's why the KKK is such a terrible joke. All right, and I refute the crap out of all of them. In fact, I refute the crap out of everybody who's not civilized, no matter your skin tone. It really doesn't matter. I'll tell you to your face you're a savage barbarian. All right? See, that's what we're dealing with. Anyways, y'all, it's March the 10th. Uh, or not 10th, uh, March the 15th, 2018. And like I said to the young children out there, your skin tone didn't never matter. You're a beautiful person. Um... I'd hate to say it. Uh, well, I'd love to say it, actually. But you're God's child. You're a child of God. And and you have the right to your opinion. And also you have the right to educate yourself, which you should do. Because the schools in which you're being forced into, um, they're literally going to every length to make sure that you're not educated, especially in your history class. If you're going to history right now in a public school, you are absolutely wasting your time. In fact, <clears throat> you're learning the very opposite of history. You're being made to hate people uh, for their skin tone. Right. You're being told that people should an answer for what their ancestors did, even though they can't help what their ancestors did. Right. You're being taught all sort of lies in school, and right now, currently, people are doing walkout days and stuff like, because they think it's going to magically disappear guns out of the country. It's not going to do that. All right. But what I would suggest for the people who are doing the walkouts out of school is to leave school and never go back. And I mean that. I'm dead serious about it just because they keep lying to you and lying to you over and over and over. If you were to leave school and just go get a job and stuff, you would start making money instead of losing money. All right. uh, you could still go to school, but just go to school in order to learn things that will make you money. Stop going to school in order to learn that people of different skin tones are white devils and, and they hate you because they don't hate you. In fact, they'll, they'll welcome you in with open arms. Um, you know, for all the bad things you can say about Trump and Trump supporters, they will give you a great big old hug and it does not matter what your skin tone is. All that matters is that you love where you come from. Perhaps you love your country and your, and your brethren in that country and you want to make it better and want to make it stronger. Just like the people wanted to do in South Africa before they realized they're surrounded by savage barbarians, all right? We can all come together as people uh, and share our ideas, especially in America, because there is free speech, and nobody cares what your skin tone is. You're being taught all sort of lies in the schools, all right? Anyway, it's March 15th, y'all, 2018, and I'll holler at y'all a little bit later.